is how you can connect your own home automation projects to Alexa, Google Home, IFTT and Siri easily and for free. Hello YouTube, welcome to my video, I am Andres Sosa, I have been working in IoT projects in the last years and I love home automation. And today I am excited to show you how you can connect your own home automation projects to voice assistants like Siri, Alexa, Google Home and also IFTT. This will work for any board with internet connection and with the possibility to use MQTT protocol. If you don't know what MQTT protocol is, you can check my video about MQTT. These boards can be like Arduino with Ethernet Shield, Arduino Yun, ESP8266 and ESP01. First, make sure you have everything you need. The first thing is a compatible board. In my case, I will be using the Node MCU. You also need an internet connection. In my case, it will be a Wi-Fi network. You need the Arduino IDE, the Arduino code, which you can download from my GitHub. The link is in the description. And you also need an account in the web service SmartNestZZ. So after you have created your account in SmartNSS, you need to create a device. In this case, for this example, we will work with a device of type switch. After that, you have to copy the device ID that you can find by clicking in the view option. Then you can take the example code and change the Wi-Fi name and the Wi-Fi password, paste the device ID and paste your credentials for SmartNSS, username and password. Before uploading the program to your board, make sure that you have installed in your Arduino the library for MQTT. If you don't have it, you can download it also from the link in the description. After that, you can upload the program to your board and voila! You are ready to control the built-in LED using any browser, your computer, your phone or any device. If we want to control through Alexa, we need to do one extra step. You have to go to your Alexa app and click in the skills section, search for the skill smartness and link that skill with your account using your username and password. After that, Alexa will start discovering devices and she will find those devices that you have created in smartness. Make sure that your device is online because if it's not, Alexa will just tell you that the device couldn't be reached. Something important to have in mind is that if you reset the board, it will take about 20 seconds to connect again to the MQTT broker. So don't get frustrated if it doesn't connect right away. So how is this working? Your device is connected to an MQTT broker at SmartNest which manages all the requests from Alexa and then sends you a simple MQTT directive that looks something like this. This means that there is a directive to control the power state and in the message is the action. So it can be on or off. SmartNest can also connect your device to Google Home, IFTT and Siri. There is a full documentation in the website, but I will be doing guides and tutorials about how to use each of these services and how to take the most of them. This is how you can connect your own home automation projects to Alexa, Google Home, IFTT and Siri easily and for free. So if you want to get more videos like this and interesting ideas of how you can automate your home yourself without spending a big amount of money in expensive products, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button if you like this video. Thanks guys for watching, bye bye!